the Sunshine State, Florida, home of Dutyville, USA, it's the Howdy Doody Show. Here's Howdy and Buffalo Bob Smith. Well, hi, Peanuts, and hi, Howdy. Oh, well, hi, Buffalo Bob, and hi, Peanuts. Hi. Well, you know, Peanuts, we've been having a Dutyville fair, and we've been having lots of fun. And also a lot of so-called accidents. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy, strange things have been happening. Sure have, Howdy. Actually, we think that somebody is deliberately trying to spoil this fair. And, oh! Here's the gentleman, the manager of our fair, Carney Cal. Hiya, Carney. Well, hello, Buffalo Bob. Hello, Peanuts. Yeah. Buffalo Bob. Yeah. I am the manager of absolutely nothing. Yeah. Mayor Bluster has closed down our fair. No, oh. no. Yes. Oh, well, I'll bet you that's because of what happened at the very end of our last show. Ah. Yeah. Another accident? Carney, that was no accident. We had just finished the peanut race. There were three winners, and we were about to award our special Howdy Doody balloon prizes. Yeah. Peanuts, these are the balloons that we're going to award to the peanuts who were in that last race. And I... <gasps> the balloons! Wait a minute. What? I saw a hand come out here and... You did? Oh, wait. And when I looked behind the curtains for the man with the scissors, he was gone. Probably the same man who's been causing all the other trouble. Yeah. But who? Yeah, who? Who? That's the question. Who? 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 Who made the balloons take flight? Who turned off every light? Who broke down our merry-go-round and switched the instruments all around? Who turns up everywhere? Who gives us such a scare? Who wants to spoil our fair? Who, 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 who? I'll find out who. Golly. Oh, golly, Mayor Bluster closed down the fair. I know. What are we going to do for the rest of the show? Well... Oh, I give up. Well, there's only... Wait a minute, Dilly. There's still a chance. Wait a minute, Dilly. Don't... Oh, he's left oh, Gosh, Buffalo, what, what do you mean, still a chance? Well, Howdy, now look, I have absolutely no idea who's causing the trouble. But, Howdy, I have a clue. I saw the hand that held the scissors that cut the strings, that caused the balloons to fly off. Well, let's go, let's go. Let's take look, down the signs and the decorations. Uh, Get going. Bluster's coming. Meet me in Dutyville Park in five minutes. Uh, oh, wait a minute. He's here. Stay here. Uh, Phineas, I mean, Mayor Bluster, uh, you don't really want to close down the Dutyville Fair, do you? Why not? It's a rotten fair anyway. Well, you don't even have any refreshment stands. Well, but, Mr. Bluster, we don't need them. No, you see, Phineas, uh, when our visitors, the peanuts, when they get hungry, you see, they don't have to eat real food. Hey, uh, 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 would you run that by me again, please? I say the peanuts don't have to eat uh, real food. Excuse me. I'm going to call the funny farm. Uh, well, wait a minute, Phineas. I'll prove it to you. Now, you watch. Stay right here. Don't move. Don't move. You know, if people come to the fair and they're hungry, what are they going to eat? Their credit cards? Oh, Mr. Buster, you watch. You'll see. Okay, Happy, it's lunchtime. Oh, Peanuts, it's just sort of imaginary lunchtime. Now, we're all going to imagine that we're eating some kind of a food, right? So you be prepared to tell me what kind of a food it is. So if you're ready, here we go, because it's time for lunch. So why don't we all munch? Why don't we all munch on a... 
on a ham sandwich. Now that's a good one. Okay. Now there's a tasty treat that's always fun to eat. And that's a tasty food if you're in the mood. It's time to eat. So let's eat something sweet. Let's eat something sweet like a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar, that's really good. Yes, sir. And now there's a tasty treat that's always fun to eat. And that's a tasty food if you're in the mood. Now, when we're eating, there are certain manners, certain things that we should remember to always do. Would you know, uh, give us some good manners when you're eating, honey. Do you wrap clothes? Beg your pardon? Do you wrap clothes? Keep your mouth closed. That's right. You should chew with your mouth very, very good. My father used to say, shut your mouth and eat. <laughs> and you know you can't do it. All right. And how about you, honey? Don't eat with your fork. I mean, don't eat with your knife. Well, not peas, because you don't get very many. Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> okay. How about you, honey? Don't put your elbows on the table when you're That's eating. Good. Don't put your That's elbows on one. the table. They might get in the soup. That's a very good idea. Absolutely marvelous. Now, let's us all imagine what we're eating is delicious. And as long as we're imagining, imagine it's nutritious. Say, do you know what nutritious means? What do you think it means? If something is nutritious, then it's probably what? Good. Good, that's right. Do you know anything that's nutritious? An apple. An apple. That's a very nutritious food. What do you know that's nutritious? Orange. An orange, she said up there. Nutritious, those are sure. foods that are really good for you. That's fine. And now it's our hunch. No one's hungry in this bunch. Because we ate an imaginary munch, an imaginary ate. What's happening, Howdy? Hmm? Well, uh, Buffalo Bob told me to meet him here. Oh, uh, hi, Howdy. Oh, hi. oh uh, Tommy Turtle is here. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, look, I have to talk privately with Howdy. Would you mind leaving us alone just a minute or two, please? Oh, must I? Well, it's uh, I private. I promise anything I hear, I'll keep it under my shell. I understand. Oh, I'm sure you would, Tommy, <laughs> but you see, well, this is private. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Tommy? Okay. okay. I'll go. Okay, please. Fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tommy, could you make your exit a little faster, please? Listen, Buffalo Bob, I'm yeah. a turtle, not a, a race horse. I, I know. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Now, look, Tommy, this is what I want to tell you. Now, as I said before, I saw the hand that cut the balloon strings. Now, I don't know whose hand it was, but I do know that that hand wore a ring with the most unusual design. Oh, boy, if we find the hand that's wearing that ring, we've got our man. That's the answer. So, look, let's go back to the studio right now. We'll gather everybody together, and we'll look at all their hands right now. Come on, Howdy. I'm not a race horse, you know. Uh, Mayor Peanuts at the Peanut Gallery, Peanuts. Oh, uh, the men are here, Buffalo Bob, except Clarabelle. Oh, you're right, but... Oh, oh, and here he comes. All right, fine. Now, look, men, later I'll explain to you why I'm doing this. But right now, as I call out your name, please hold up your hands. We'll start with you, Phineas. Yeah, I got a big bulletin for you, Buffalo Booby Bob. Yeah? I'm not holding up my hands. What is this, a hold up? <laughs> I think this is ridiculous. Phineas, is there any reason why you don't want to show us your hands, huh? Well, I mean, yes. Uh, my fingernails need clipping. Oh, oh sure. Now, I don't believe it. If you don't, we'll see for yourself, Freckleloads. Uh, let me see. All right. Okay. All right. Jackie, you're next. Oh, Buff. Do I have to, Buff? Yep. You're next, Jackie. All right, all right. I... Okay. All right, Jackie, you're excused. No, Go no, back. no, Buff. Read no, no, Buff. Book. Buff, I want to stay here and see what's going down, if oh. you don't mind. Yes, indeed. Howdy. Have a really good see you. Uh, all right, Clarabelle, let's see your hands. Okay, let's see the other one. All right, now let's see the other one. Together, let's see the other one. The other... 
Uh huh. Why are you hiding your seltzer box? What? It doesn't work. You mean it's broken? That's broken? It doesn't look like it's broken, man. What's it? Everything's up there. It seems to be all right. See, push the lever. Let's see what happens if it does. You sure it's huh? broken? Huh? Let's see. Ah! Go, go! I'll kill you, Bowling Brings! Oh. Howdy. I guess that was a waste of time. We couldn't find anyone who was wearing that ring. But, Peanuts, I'm still determined to find the troublemaker. It's just that I'm going to need a little time to figure this thing out. So we'll be right back after this. Mayor Blusser! You may have called off the Dutyville Fair, but you still owe me money that's coming to me according to this contract that you signed. Contract? I mean, uh, that I signed? Of course you did. There's your signature. Uh, 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 well, uh, that's not my signature. Uh, that's a forgery. How can you call that a forgery? I saw you sign it. Yeah, I did. I, uh, I mean, but uh, I, uh, look, when I signed that contract, uh, I was forging my own signature. So oh. that's a forgery. You see? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Buffalo Bob, look. Yeah, finish, the yeah. fair is closed, right? Yep. Now, do I have to pay the rest of the salary to this clown here? This clown? Phineas, clown is not the right word for Carney Cal. Uh, now, look, years ago, we gave him a test to be the Dutyville clown, and he couldn't pass it. Now, he's an excellent fair manager, but he's not a good clown. Buffalo Bob, yep. that money is coming to me according to this contract. This... Mayor Bluster... According to this, you have to pay him in full. That's highway robbery. That's right. I will not pay him one cent. You will pay me, Phineas, or I'll take you to court and I'll sue you for every dime in the Dutyville Treasury. That's a promise. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> Wait a minute. The ring. That's the ring. What about the ring? That's the ring that I saw on the hand that cut the balloon string. Carney Cal, you are the troublemaker. What? Yes. Yes, I did it. Yes, I did all those things. And I'm glad. I, You're... But you were the manager. Huh? Why would you want to ruin our fair? Because I wanted to get even with Buffalo Bob for not letting me play the Dutyville crowd. Oh, Carney Cal, I'm surprised at you. Now, look, you're a great carnival manager, but you wouldn't have made a good clown because you're not funny. Ha, ha, ha. I'm funnier than Carabelle or anybody. No. You just give me a chance. Uh, give me a chance to prove it. Uh, give I'll give a you a chance. Uh, have you got a funny suit to wear? Uh, you know, like a clown suit? Oh, yeah, gee, have you? thanks, 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 Buffalo Bob. Get a clown I'll, suit. I'll, I'll, I'll go put it on. Try I'll put it, it on. It. I'll be good. I'll, I swear, try I'll it, be the best, okay. the best, the best. Well, while he's changing into his funny costume, I better get back to Peanuts. Oh, great. That's all we need on this show is another gloopy clown. Ugh, I'm gonna take a nap. Tell you what we'll do, gang. While we're waiting for Carney Cal to get ready, let's find out uh, how many of you are howdy doody doers. Let me see your hands. Isn't that marvelous? Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, be a howdy doer, helping others day and night. Cause a howdy doody doer is a kid who does what's right. Now, to be a howdy doer, you have to do a good deed. Uh, honey, what would you think would be a good deed? First of all, tell us what's your name? Carolyn. All right, Carolyn, what would a good deed be? Visiting sick people at the hospital. Now, that would certainly qualify her to be a howdy doody doer. Absolutely. Oh, Very. be a howdy doer, doing well at home or school. Cause a howdy doody doer is a kid who's really cool. Are you a howdy doer? Yes. Well, what have you done to be a howdy doody doer? I helped somebody, and if they were sick, I'd send them a card. That's very good. How about you? Clean house. Clean house for your mother. Well, that would qualify you to be a howdy doody doer. Be fair, be helpful, 
Be straight, be true. If you're nice to folks around you, then they'll be nice to you. If you see someone in trouble, be a doer, lend a hand. Oh, the howdy doody doers are the finest kids in the land. Are you a howdy doer? Are you a howdy doer? Are you a howdy doer? You're the finest kids in the land. And now, peanuts of all ages. It's time for Carney Cow to perform his clown act. Oh, oh great, good. Carney. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, boy, I... Better, I honey. sure hope I can stay awake through this. Oh, it'll be good, probably. Yes. Well, there's Carney Cow. <laughs> Pretty good clown, isn't he? <laughs> hello, hello, all you butter nuts. <laughs> well, you know, his costume and makeup are pretty good for a hobo clown. Yeah, well, let's just see if he can do anything funny first. Yeah. Let's watch. First, I will cut a few capers. Oh, well, I'm... Oh, ho, 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 that's the last time I'm going to cut that caper. Oh. Oh. I think he ought to cut the rest of his act. While he's still ahead. No, 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 Howdy, give him uh, a chance. Well, you, well, and now you lucky people, you are about to see my great acrobatic trick. Yes, indeedy, I will mount the ladder. Then I will leap onto the teeter totter, and the Clarabelle dummy will fly through the air, do a triple somersault, and land in this chair right here. Uh, Professor, if you please. Something. Yeah? That would be a good trick. It'd be a great trick. If you can do it. Mm. Gonna jump on there. Oh! Oh, what do you think of that? Well, I guess he can cross that trick off his list. All right, now, howdy. Uh, Give him a chance, would you please? Uh, well, now, well, now, you lucky people will see me jump over. Very tricky. Yes, I have five bouncy balls, and you watch. My hand will never leave my arms. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> and here we go. The first bouncy ball. <laughs> I have four bouncy balls. <laughs> Look, don't, don't you worry about it. I, I, I know it wasn't very good, but after all, you did your best, and that's really what counts. Isn't that right, Peanuts? That's right. Sure, you, you, you tried real hard, and that's perfectly all right. Yes. All right. What, 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 what do you want, Tom? Now, he juggled very badly. He just... Uh. Oh, you think you can juggle? <laughs> you mean you're going to try to juggle the three balls? <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny. <laughs> you think you're so smart. You juggle. That's what he said. Is that what you said? Well, I mean, I'm not supposed to be able to juggle. I'm not a clown, but I... Could try it, Buff. The three of them? Sure, three all at once. You can do it. Juggle. Juggle. Well, I... Stand back, clear that you, you juggle. Let's see how well you can juggle. Yes. Now the great Claradini is gonna juggle. One, two. Yeah, aren't you gonna cut? You know something? You are a funny clown. <laughs> I think we ought to give him a hand. That's pretty funny.
right, everybody. Okay, folks. All the trouble has been straightened out, so I am reopening the Dutyville Fair. Reopening the fair? Yes, indeedy, duty. Oh, Mr. Bluster, you're reopening it just in time to close it. Ugh. It's practically all over. All we have left to do now is to invite the peanuts down to dance the Howdy Doody Hustle. What? Oh, all right, then let's do it. Everybody knows I'm one of the best hustlers in the country. <laughs> Take it away, oh. gang. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Happy and Clarabelle, you start the Howdy Doody Hustle, and then we'll get some kids to join in. Go ahead, hit it, Jackie. Let's go. Hey, Think that it's the most no. Take your bustles, move your muscles That's howdy doody hustle Face your partner Do a little jump Give your partner Howdy doody bump Howdy dilly buffalo bump Taught this dance to corny cob Shake your bustles, move your muscles That's howdy doody hustle 